Many people like small drones like DJI Phantom 3. Yes, Phantom 3 is a cool machine that's with a great camera and easy to control. And, but people email me loud about the breaking the 500 altitude limitation. It is like a curse that the limitation is bound to be broke. And actually so many people email me about the same idea. So I like to do the test. But it can be a little bit different. We are going to use our big drone, maybe the biggest one, the K130 Pro. It is equipped with a very, very strong power system. So I'm going to lift the DJI Phantom 3 by a K130 Pro. And the K130 Pro is such a strong machine that it can lift 10 kilo. So that's the 1.5 kilo Phantom doesn't mean anything to it. To achieve this goal, we made a hook. The hook is controlled by four servos. Each servo has a carbon fiber small hook to hold the, the Phantom's arm. So actually, the Phantom will fly together with the K130 to 200 meters, and we will release the Phantom from the hook and will drop. We will active the Phantom in the process, and uh, if you see, we will success this test. It can be dangerous, so I don't suggest you to do this at home. And if you fail, you will lose your $1,000 drawn to the Phantom 3, of course. Okay, just uh, hope me good luck. Release the hook. It's dropping. Just hope everything can be okay. As we can see, the test was a failure. But what caused that? Actually, I didn't active the DJI Phantom in the mid-air while it's still on the hook. But if I do that, the propeller will hit the hook, causing, causing problems. And once I active the Phantom while it's dropping, actually, the Phantom was turned upside down like this. So actually it just dropped like a piece of stone and penetrated into the ground. Um, so that means the flight control doesn't have the possibility to turn your Phantom upside down if it's, it's already upside down. So don't try it. Don't try to deactivate your Phantom in the mid-air and then activate. The flight control may go mad. It doesn't have the possibility to turn it leveled. So, but that failure leaves me another possibility. Maybe next time we can make a big platform on our K130 and put the Phantom on the platform, use full four hooks to hold the landing gear, then we launch it into the mid-air. Uh, once the propeller of Phantom is getting enough RPM, I can release it. So the Phantom will strictly go up. I think that method can be 100% safe to break the 500 limitation. But actually, this test is not for any professional use, it's just for fun. So if you are running low of budget, don't do it at home and just watch the professional guys to do the test. Just wait for our next test. And if you like this video, enjoy this video, don't forget to subscribe us. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Bye.